All right, and so in this edit, I'm gonna share a couple different sunburst actions. So we're gonna go to our actions and we've got sunburst one. It adds that nice little sunburst right there. Sunburst two. Sunburst three. Sunburst four. And sunburst five right there. And with these sunburst two, if you just double click on that, you can move it wherever you would like. And I definitely recommend putting it where the light is gonna match up with the image. And I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to extreme sunburst. And let's go ahead and move it. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit right about here and click OK. And I'm just going to mask and I'm just going to mask off to keep the contrast on my subject. All right, so we've masked off the sunburst off of him and now I'm just going to mask around and just kind of make a little bit more of a straight light coming down on them. So I'm just going to mask that off, kind of have it angled a little bit. Now we've got just some nice sun haze coming down on them and we can adjust the opacity if you just want it slightly or if you want it a little bit more and then we've got before and after and check out the next video for the light rays all right so we're going to start with this image here and i'm going to add some light rays to it and again when you're using the sunburst and light rays actions, I do recommend, you know, adding them to an image that already has some light in it um, because it's going to blend in well and look a little bit more natural too. So it's going to highlight the light that is already there. All right, so I'm going to go to my actions and I'm going to scroll down. And for this one, the light source is coming from the middle. So I want to make sure that I'm going to pick the center light rays. Click play. All right, so we've got our light rays right here. And as you can see, you can actually move these around. We would have to kind of mask off some of those edges. But I'm going to actually move it a little bit more this way because I want the light touching down right on her. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my layers and we're gonna go to that light rays mask right there. And I'm just gonna select my paintbrush tool and mask off the edges right here. And by doing this too, it's making the light rays look a little bit more believable. As you can see, it's always brighter at the top. So I'm just kind of mask those back in. Just blending as best as possible. And I'm just going to go ahead and mask off her. All right, so I masked that. We've got our layers kind of show before and after real quick. In this grouping of layers that we have, this is the warmth. This adds a little bit more warmth to the light. So I'm actually gonna increase it a little bit. And I'm just gonna click duplicate layer on that. And as you can see, it added a bit more warmth. So again, just duplicating that warmth layer. So it's adding some warmer tones to that light. So we've got before and after.
So I'm going to go ahead and just merge my layers together and just, just finish it off with one of my presets. So I'm just going to pull it into Camera Raw. Go to Dreamy 9. There we go. Just go for an extra warmth kind of look here. I'm going to fade it back just a little bit. And final image before and after.